on your side. Bad breaking news, Frontier Airlines scaling back at Mitchell International Airport again. Nearly a dozen flights and 125 jobs will be cut. Our Annie Schultz live at Mitchell with details. Annie. Carol and Mike, the one-time big player here, really now more like small potatoes. Frontier Airlines announcing that it's cutting its flights from 18 to 7 a day. That is more than half because those routes are not making them enough money. Let's take a look at who is affected. Passengers flying to Columbus, Indianapolis, Nashville, Omaha, Pittsburgh, and from New York and Kansas City. Now, I'm told by a Frontier spokesperson that people on flights to those cities after June 1st need to contact the Reservations Department for other accommodations and that frequent flyer miles will be honored, but passengers say it will still be a headache if they have to fly out of another airport. Chicago is kind of a big hassle and Milwaukee is a little bit smaller and it's uh, easier to manage than uh, say O'Hare, so it's really nice to have uh, Milwaukee pretty close. And Milwaukee County Executive Chris Abley released a statement saying, quote, while we're disappointed Frontier Airlines is reducing flights in Milwaukee, we are pleased they will still offer service at Milwaukee County's General Mitchell International Airport. We continue to work hard to keep Milwaukee an attractive option to passengers and other airlines looking to grow their business. Now, the only nonstop flights that remain for Frontier include Denver, Orlando, Washington, D.C., and Rhinelander. I'm also told that 125 employees are affected by this. They just received notices saying they will either be furloughed or they will need to find other open positions with the company. And this comes on the heels of an announcement just a couple of weeks ago saying that over 400 employees would be losing their jobs. On your side, live at General Mitchell, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, considering what the old Midwest offered in its heyday, it is really a shame to see it come to this. Thank you, Annie. Very sad. <laughs> Apparently assaulting a young girl. That crime allegedly happened in a classroom at Summit Elementary in Oconomowoc. The suspect visited the school as a parent volunteer. Todd Hicks is live with the disturbing details. Todd. Well, Jake, that parent volunteer here at Summit Elementary now charged with sexually assaulting a child. It happened earlier this month as that little girl was reading a book to the man. A very sad and unfortunate situation happened. Anthony Pico now charged with first degree sexual assault of a child. A volunteer at Summit Elementary School has been charged with inappropriately touching a student. The Oconomowoc father volunteered his time at the school where his daughter attends. It was news that caught many parents picking up their kids by surprise Monday. I think it would concern any parent if that, something like that happened. I just got phone calls from the school. The school's handling handling it very good. According to the criminal complaint, Pico touched her while she was reading a story to him. Pico then told the nine-year-old he was sorry. She said when he said he was sorry, Mr. Pico was smiling. Before going to bed that night, the girl burst into tears, telling her parents she was upset because someone touched her at school. During questioning, Pico told investigators, her shirt went up and my hand went along the edge, but I didn't go in. We went to Anthony Pico's house to ask him about that incident, but he didn't answer the door when we knocked. In these um, horrible situations, it's a great reminder for all of us how important it is to talk to our children about their safety. And Anthony Pico is out of jail tonight. He is scheduled to return to court at the end of next month. On your side, reporting live from Oconomowoc, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, quite disturbing for parents and teachers. Thank you very much, Todd.